Hi, my name is Elaine Jackson. I'm a part of the Futures team at the Wiverslack Group. Thanks for watching this video today. Um, I've worked with special educational needs for about 18 years now. Um, the role of a Futures lead at the Wiverslack Group is essentially to bring in um, professionals from a variety of business that are inspirational, to talk to our children and young people about their job role and how and what has led them to this. It's all around basically um, raising aspirations in our children and young people so that then they're aware of all the different jobs that they can go into. So today we're going to talk about how to build uh, life skills in our children and young people. So what we're going to cover is what are life skills? Why is it important to build life skills? How do we help build daily life skills in our children and young people? So first of all, let's talk about what are life skills. So life skills are a set of psychological and interpersonal skills interconnected with each other. The skills are going to help us to develop adaptive and positive behaviour to cope with the challenges that we um, come up against in life. And they actually include creativity, critical thinking, problem solving, decision making, the ability to communicate and collaborate, along with personal and social responsibilities. So all of those things are essential for success in the 21st century um, to build healthy societies, but also successful and employable individuals. So why is it important to build life skills? So in everyday life, the development of um, life skills helps young people to find new ways of thinking and problem solving. It also recognises the impact of their actions and teaches them to take responsibilities for what they do rather than blame others. It helps them to build confidence both in spoken skills, uh, so yeah, sorry, spoken skills and for group collaboration and cooperation, which again, really important for employment as well and for society in general. It helps them to analyse the options, make decisions and understand why they make certain choices. And it develops a greater sense of self-awareness and appreciation for others and it instills confidence and resilience. So how do we help our children to um, develop their life skills? So here's some essential life skills that I've come across um, while doing some research for this. So we've got goal setting, staying safe, um, mental health management, financial literacy skills, time management, organisation, empathy, resilience and taking on challenges. We've also then got things like standing up for yourself, delaying gratification, communication and interpersonal relationships, dealing with failure, money management, household chores, responsibility and handling stress. So we're going to go through these one at a time and I'm just going to give some ideas of things that you could do to help your child or young person um, to develop these skills. So decision making, money skills and time management. So if you can give choices around what clothes your child wants to wear um, or what book they want to read or even when they want to do their homework, um, that's all around developing that decision making and getting children to think about the consequence of what's going to happen next. You could also do things like giving them their pocket money and allowing them to decide how they're going to spend it. Again, that's about um, teaching the children, your child to think critically about the choices and consequences they make before they make that decision. So, for example, if they spend all their money on a chocolate bar, then they're not going to be able to save up and buy the Pokemon cards they want, for example. Um, show them how to budget, save and understand how to make the most out of their money. And then we can look at time management. So this can be done through um, small tasks completed in little blocks of time. So, for example, chores with start and end times. 
Now, physical health, mental health management. So physical health and mental health is obviously a massive thing. Health and hygiene are key life skills that you, children need to learn. Um, this is anything from brushing their teeth to washing their hands and wearing clean clothes. Obviously, learning to look after themselves is crucial to their development and ability to do things independently. So part of this is knowing when to go to the doctor, what a prescription is and what's good for their health and how to handle their own health emergencies. Getting them to help you to cook their favourite meal. So I used to do this quite a lot with the um, kids that I looked after. And this is around helping them and, and get them engaged in being able to start to prepare meals so that they know for their independence what to do. Getting them to choose their own toiletries. So getting them to choose their own toiletries can help the child to feel like they have been a part of that process. Um, and then they may be more inclined to shower and take care of themselves and things. Some kids can be very sensory and not want to do those kinds of things. So it's just something that could help. And also talking to them about coping mechanisms and what can um, be uh, uh, detrimental to your mental health, but also how to manage um, your own emotions and when to, when to ask for further help. Big one is encouraging them to talk about their thoughts and feelings and recognise how these differ from what others might think and feel. So let me go on to delaying gratification and learning some of these softer skills. So softer skills are how you interact with others, such as good listening, teamwork and respecting other people's views. So delaying gratification, so simple requests such as waiting to speak when someone else is talking or saving treats for the end of the day and being patient when they ask for something. So it's about helping children to understand why they need to wait. As they get older, we can take them to places where they have to wait to obtain things. So, for example, queuing, um, queuing in shops or um, at Alton Towers and things like that will help them to realise that they have to wait for things. We've then got encouraging them to, tr uh, to keep trying when they make a mistake. So they learn that making mistakes is actually a natural part of learning. All of us make mistakes. It's just about how you move on from that. And then helping them to develop their soft skills. So as I said, soft skills is about interacting with others. So this is about being a good role model really at home um, and show to show them why they're essential in life. Communication then. So communication is, is absolutely key. Um, so use rich and diverse language. In If you speak more than one language, use that too. Encourage them to think about um, what they want to communicate and consider how others will react to what they're going to say. Have them listen to others and practice give and take conversations where they take turns talking. And knowing how to express their needs confidently is the key to the communication skills. So show them how to do it by encouraging them to be clear when they ask for something. So how to stay safe, um, and this includes online, but conflict resolution and empathy. So you have CEOP available to you, um, which is a really good website. And at the end of the presentation, there's a few links to websites. Um, but CEOP um, can give you information on how to stay safe online. So that is obviously really important to go through with your young per child, sorry, young person. But also talk about their personal safety um, and about trusting their gut feelings and knowing what to do when they feel something might be wrong. So when watching TV or reading, you could ask some open ended questions about the characters, like how do you think she feels? Why has she done it this way? So they can start to understand things from the character's perspective and in turn other people's perspective. Support them in listening to others and what they want is this may be different to their wants at any given time. So again, that's around conflict resolution, um, which is a critical, crucial lesson for them. 
and then throughout the day encourage children to talk about their thoughts and feelings and recognize how these differ from what others might think and feel which again helps with that conflict resolution and empathy next is organization and responsibility so help them set a routine that gives them a sense of security and control so organizational skills are essential um, so that the kids know how to prioritize and they feel in control of their lives and able to set goals for themselves give them chores that involve sorting or organizing um, so teaching the children to be responsible is um, another life skills that really important make some confident decision makers as well so if your child has an interest in a particular um, item uh, for example stamps um, helping them to encourage uh, sorry encouraging them to create and organize a collection um, can also be something that will help with the, uh, the organization again giving them age appropriate chores to do um, show them how to do it let them get on with it and then resist the temptation to keep reminding them which I know is difficult teach them about different types of responsibility so there are different types of responsibility for example personal responsibility so being accountable for your own actions um, there's also things like social responsibility so being aware of and addressing the impact of one's actions on society um, and then environmental responsibility so for example being um, mindful of the impacts that your uh, actions have on the environment so it's really important to teach them about those different things then you've also got legal responsibility and ethical responsibility being a positive role model by demonstrating responsible behavior and showing them how you fulfill responsibilities and follow through with your commitments so children learn um, by watching others um, and so that is really good um, thing to do so resilience how to handle stress and taking on challenges so I encourage them to try again and work on understanding that school work and relationships can be challenging they're always going to come up with challenges in their lives it's about again about how they understand that and deal with it encouraging them to face and take up challenges helps them to become more confident and independent as well as helping acknowledge their abilities and then teaching them strategies that help limit stress so such as how to get ready the night before for an exam or for an interview then we've got finding a job work skills and goal setting so help them set and work towards their own goals or wishes beginning with an exploration of what interests them talk about time management organization and motivation and then a part-time job can help prepare your team for the world of work job hunting is also another skill that would be helped with that second one and then show them how to find a job how to complete a job application and what to expect in an interview and then teach them how to set goals such as saving for something they want and then talk about how they can reach that goal and set a time frame to help them to stay motivated again that's about goal setting skills and also I think there it's important to help children to understand that you should have short term and longer term goals um, you need your goals to be realistic so now we're just going to talk a little bit about self-esteem and confidence which are two other life skills that all of us need so first of all what is self-esteem so self-esteem is how we think and feel about ourselves um, it can affect how much we like and value ourselves believe in ourselves um, believe we deserve happiness so it's really really important that we have high self-esteem and then confidence is about believing in ourselves our abilities and our ideas so it's about being comfortable with how we look who we are how we feel so how do we help our children to build confidence and self-esteem so this is about teaching them to be kind to themselves so recognize and challenge unkind thoughts um, it's okay to make mistakes make sure they they know that and repeat positive statements um, teach them to repeat positive statements sorry to themselves 
look after themselves. So sleep well, eat a balanced diet, stay active, spend time outside um, and avoiding drugs and alcohol. You've then got focusing on the positives. Spending time with people, so that's really important. Spending time with people who um, uh, are positive impacts on you, on yourself um, or your child, sorry, um, and making sure that that time spent with them is meaningful. Learn to assert themselves. So again, learning to assert yourselves is about, uh, or being assertive, sorry, is about um, being able to give your opinion or saying what you want or need or feel. Um, sometimes that can be very different to what someone else wants. So it's really important that, that we know how to do that. Do things they enjoy. Act confident even when they don't feel like it, which again is something that you need to practice and practice. And then the last one is about trying something new. So again, challenging oneself to, to push those barriers. And then here I've just included a few bits of useful information. So there's a link to the Wiverslack Group Futures uh, page there. Uh, so you can go there and it will give you information on what the future program is, but also it will talk about our partnership with Get My First Job that can help our children and young people to find employment and get into the world of employment or apprenticeships. Um, and then I've included a link to the SEOP Safety Centre and just some information and support from MIND about lots of different uh, mental health issues and things that may come up for children and young people. OK, thank you very much for listening to me today and I uh, hope you have a lovely day. Take care. Right, bye bye.